Okay, I'm back with another wig review, and this one is Vera. She's a lace front wig. And here you go. See, she's Vera. She's in a number two, and it's by Bishi. All right. I really like this wig. I'll probably have to give her a um, seven out of ten. I would give her more. I would probably give her an 8 out of 10, but I found a, a flaw that you probably won't really notice. But I noticed that the part where the lace is, is it's a different curl than the rest of the wig. Like the rest of the wig has this like spirally, smaller looking. But the part in the front where the lace is at, like this little section right here, two inch maybe section, the curls are a little bit looser. As you can see, see bigger curls, more spirally curls. You probably can't tell. I could tell. I don't know if you can tell, right there. And no, it's not because I finger combed out the rest of it because I didn't. I didn't do anything to it. But I mean, it blends in. You can't really tell once you blend it in. It's only because I was being anal about it. But yeah, I like this wig. She's really, really soft. Uh, hairline is pretty realistic. Like I said, again, I always color in my parts with my little pencil. Color it in right here. And I left a little bit, I mean, just a small section of my hair out in the front, like right here. It's about that much. And then I rough up the root of the wig itself. Let's do that. It blends in. It blends in. That's all I do. But other than that, I really like her. She's just, one thing about her. She, oh girl, is big. Oh girl, is straight up big. This this a big girl. She's massive and she grows. She just gets bigger and bigger. But it's not a bad it's not a bad thing. Like I don't know if you can see the difference between this side and this side. This side I actually wet down and use my wet and wavy. Everybody knows I live by this stuff for my curly wigs. This cream, yeah, cream morse curl cream. If I could be a spokesperson for this thing, I would. It's it's the greatest. It's the greatest. But yeah, I put this, I wet it up, spray it down with some water, and then I put this on there. And it actually holds it. It actually Tames it. And any parts that are really big, I just use my force my nose. The little tiny hairpins. From Sally's. Let's put a couple in there to pin it down. I got one in there, like a couple back here. And so parts that are really poofy, you can just tame them down a little bit. And this side I haven't done anything to to it. But it's it's really incredibly soft. Really incredibly soft. I think people really like this one. But like I say she grows, you can see it just it's just bigger and bigger. Massive. I mean massive. Every time I hear this song, I hear that song in my head, you know, watch out for the big girls. Yeah. That's all my mom, you know. That's how big she's she huge. She huge. She get bigger. And here she is in the back. Right there. She's not that long. Long enough. She remind me of Pretty girl, a little bit, except she got a lace front. But yeah, she's a pretty wig. I love her. Like I said, she mommy me a pretty girl. Except she got the lace in the front. And I had to retire. Pretty girl. It was a sad day. But here she go. She dry, y'all. She real dry. She lasts about six months, believe it or not. See the curl still there? But she, you see, she see through and she dry. Mm. She dry. But the curl texture is pretty much the same. So just like I said, this one's a half wig. This one got lace. But that's about it. That's the only thing I could think of with this one. I think you should definitely go and get her. If you really like a big, curly, voluminous look, I think you'll really like this wig. I feel like singing the circle of life.
for like Simba right now. Yeah. <laughs> Ignore me. Anyway, but yeah, this is Vera by uh, Bishi. I think you should go out and get her lace front wig. Yeah. So let me know what you think.